can't open my eyes. Ah, I'm not kidding. Ah, ah, ah. Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog. My name is Zasha and I live in Taiwan. That's the country that's been in the news recently for how well it has handled the COVID-19 pandemic. I work in the entertainment industry as an actor, TV show host and entertainer and I also write screenplays and make my own short films. What you see here is the Taiwanese metro system which we call the MRT. Public transport in Taipei, which is Taiwan's capital, is super convenient and I'm relying on it to run some errands today. But before we get to that, I'll show you how I started off the day by preparing chickpeas for an awesome salad. So I soaked up a pound of chickpeas overnight and now I'm gonna drain them and cook them. So the chickpeas have been in for about 10 minutes now and I think another 20 minutes and they'll be done. Beautiful! Okay, so after draining the beans, I'm now pouring them into my into my box and this is kind of tricky too because they might roll over the edge so you get the gist let me use both hands for that the amount of chickpeas is just right so I can still put the lid on and close it how do you figure out how much you can cook in order to still close the lid on something like this the trick is to first pour raw chickpeas into this container less than half the height of the box because apparently after cooking they increase in size by more than two times. So if you have other containers, other sizes, doesn't matter if they're round or higher or lower, just remember fill them up to slightly less than half the capacity and then after you are done cooking they will fill the container completely. That's the trick. After putting the chickpeas in the fridge, I'm now heading out to take care of some business. This is amazing. I'm here in Taiwan's central bank. I got some friends here and they allowed me to go inside and go to the safe. And I'm here right now and inside are billions of Taiwanese dollars and now I can open it. Oh no, I have no, actually no idea what this is. I'm in the MRT and there's this weird wall and I don't know. Anyway, the camera filmed me. They probably are gonna call the cops on me soon. I should leave. I recently moved, so now I have to go to the local immigration agency to update my information of my new address. The immigration agency in Taiwan is pretty efficient, pretty quick in the way they work. It shouldn't take me longer than 10 minutes, I think. Two hours later. This is f***ing insane. I had to wait there for 30 minutes. Nobody's telling me anything. And finally this f***ing officer comes over and tells me, Sir, you, you gave us some wrong information last time. And now I might get deported. I have no f***ing idea what to do. This freaking national immigration agency is... I'm just joking. It's... Everything's fine, it took 10 minutes. And my next stop is the National Health Insurance Administration. I also gotta tell them about my new uh, address and I wanna check if everything's fine there. And yeah, see you there. Later. I just left the National Health Insurance Administration office and I got bad news. And this time I'm not kidding, I'm actually serious. Because I changed work last year and Gave them bank info back then and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, they also got some info there that wasn't really uh, handled correctly. And now I owe them $750, $750. Taiwanese dollars, which is only 20 US dollars. No big deal, everything's fine. On to the next stop, 
which is the Taipei Motor Vehicle Office, where I have to extend my uh, my driver's license, which expired last year. Oh my god. Well, I guess karma strikes back because after joking about not being successful at these government agencies, finally the motor vehicle registration office got the best of me. I didn't bring four passport pictures that I was supposed to uh, deliver and but actually I don't even need to extend my license because they say because I have a permanent residency ID that's really all I need to show the police if they ever stop me or check my check my driver's license so for now I'm not even gonna apply for a new one because I don't want to take those pictures right now and I don't want to spend those 400 Taiwanese dollars for the application so I can I don't even have to do it unless I want to apply for an international dr driver's license if I want to go to another country and drive there then they would have to have a new ID for me but since I don't need to do that now I'll just postpone that to whenever it's really necessary so after all that was still not too bad and now I'm looking for a supermarket Right away, I found one. Well done. More karma. They don't have feta cheese. So, I have to go somewhere else. Wah, wah, wah. A pretty cool thing just happened. At the supermarket, an old Taiwanese guy recognized me even though I'm wearing this face mask and he says, hey, you're the guy from the TV show with the foreigners. And I'm like, oh, how can you recognize me like this? He's like, oh, I watch it all the time. He used to live in New Jersey for 20 years. So yeah, he wants to keep, keep up with foreign affairs and stuff. And yeah, it was pretty cool. Chatted with him for a little bit. And now he's in Taiwan taking care of his parents. Maybe, I don't know if they're still alive, but he moved back from New Jersey, back to Taiwan to take care of his family. And it's, it's always cool when, especially when older men even watch our show, and it's, it's fun. Since normal supermarkets in Taiwan don't sell feta cheese, I have to go to a department store now that sells like uh, foreign, foreign specialties. A little bit more exotic stuff from a Taiwanese perspective. It's a little more expensive, but there's no way around it. Feta cheese is not a common thing that uh, Taiwanese people would eat, usually. Let's hope I'm at the right place now. There you go. I don't know what to think about the fact that it's easier to register new address at a government agency in Taiwan than finding a specific type of cheese. Could be a good or a bad thing, depending on what kind of person you are. Are you a moving a lot kind of person or eating a lot of cheese kind of person? Well, Tony's government agency workflow, grade A+. Cheese game. C minus D probably so Taiwan please step up your cheese game by the way I forgot to mention that one pack of cheese the one pack of cheese that I just bought cost six US dollars it's pretty insane please donate some cheese to Taiwan we need it time to make salad
Take a young tongue. This onion is crazy. Oh. oh, I can't open my eyes. Oh. I'm not kidding. Oh. Oh my god, I'm cutting this onion head. It's unbelievable. Oh, I'm crying. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.